today um, I've been detecting for months um, so yeah I'm looking forward to this um, fingers crossed I'll find some more hammers along here um, it's quite sort of overcast it's warm it's about 22 degrees so yeah we'll give it a bash um, got the Garrett AT Pro again with the Denarius 2 headphones and let's crack on. I'll see you at my first find. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the first proper, decent, solid 55 signal that I've got. Um, it's, uh, what is it? Uh, it's about three inches deep. Um, I haven't looked at it yet. I've just seen a bit of a long cross on it, I'm sure it was. Um, Let's zoom in. It's starting to spit a little bit. Uh, hopefully it's not going to tip it down. But yeah, I'm going to have a look at this. And I'll show you what it is in a minute. Yeah, yeah, I've only been here about 20 minutes. Um, I walked all the way up and decided to start up here and work my way back because by the time I get that far around I'm going to want to drink and I've left all my stuff down at the end of the field but yeah man another one I'm going to search around this bit I've got um, my settings are on I don't know if you can see this let's get it in the light so I've got it on custom iron discrimination is on 31 I've got it one below max because um, it's quite stubbly and when I'm knocking my coil, I get this kind of knocky bleep. Uh, it kind of stops that. If I put it on full, I get a lot of force in. Um, I think it's because I've got the older model. Uh, but yeah, um, Hammy, woohoo! Get in there. Next find uh, is a lead token. I've given it a little bit of a brush up. It's got. Uh, just a crossy pattern all across it. It's got the bit on the end where they used to make a few and just cut them. That's pretty cool. Right, let's carry on. Okay, so I found this thimble. It's a fairly old one. Handmade. No swirly bit on the top, so it's not, not one of the oldest ones that I've got. It's in very good nick, it's not been squashed, no cracks. So yeah, pretty pretty good one. Yeah, next we have a is that a boat? Is that a boat? That's a ship, not a boat. <laughs> It's a 1946 half penny, and the back of it's not in the best of condition. But it's a coin anyway. Right, next one. Okay, next find. I just cleaned it up a bit, and we've got a nice spindle wall. Again, relatively old one. No design on it. Pretty plain. But still a nice find. No marks on it. It's not been damaged. Sweet. 
Well, it's a bit windy, so it, bear with me. I don't know if it's going to come through on a camera. But I've come way off the edge now. I decided to have a little wander and look for some dips. I've come to a high spot where it, um, it kind of dips down and then climbs back up, and it's kind of a dip in here. And I thought, oh, I'll check around here. And I've just found. Another silver hammer coin, yeah boy. Another long cross, it's in bad condition, it's broken up around the edges. Yeah, it means there's something around here, which is pretty cool. And that last silver hammer coin I found um, was a Henry IV. Um, you probably already seen so I probably put that already on the video but I just thought I'd mention it because I just worked out what it was not sure what this one is exactly uh, it could be same era it could be a bit older uh, anyway I'll clean it up and you'll see what it is all right see you in a bit bye right not far from that uh, last silver hammer coin just found this button uh, actually gave off pretty much the same signal as a silver and coin but alas it was just this button but it's still nice um, it's complete looks like it's hand done the pattern on it anyway right, next one see you in a bit I'm adds this I dug this hole yes it is my hole and further and there was this like a petrol tank just hollow I cracked it open thinking there'd be something in it and it's empty but yeah it's um and the garret picked that up no problem and that is so that's 10 inches 20 about 28, 28 inches deep. So yeah, man, it's, that's how big it is as well. It's only that big. So, Ooh, I'm knackered now. <laughs> right, next find. See if we can find something else. Right, I found another spindle well. Pretty much the same style exactly as the last one. Uh, plain, hunky chunky. Sweet! Right, next find. Right, next find is a penny. And it is... 1906. Which, I'm guessing, is an Edward Woodward Basin. Right, yeah. Sweet. Okay, next one. Okay, right, I thought I'd reveal this one with you. So, it looks coiny. It's not to say it's not a button yet. Oh, it's looking coiny. It's a coin. An oldie. Is that um, George the second or first? Can't remember. But yeah, man. Sweet. Okay, check this out. Not a hundred percent sure, but it could be a silver hammered half penny. Look at the size of it, it's tiny. Not even Yeah. Sweet. Let's just get a bit rough. Is it a silver? Oh yes. Nice.
That is lovely. Look how tiny it is, man. Tiny. Oh, it was such a small signal as well. Um, it's about 46. But yeah. Sweet. Third one of the day. Um, I'm actually just about on the edge of the field now. I'm about to go home. It's been um, three hours now, nearly four hours. Oh, it looks like it's going to rain, so yeah, man. Free hammered. Um, found loads of other bits. Uh, I'll show you all the junky bits uh, I've got in my bag when I get home. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Well, just about to go home. Uh, <laughs> a bit like last time I was here, I thought I'd have a little scout around after finding that um, half penny. And I've just found another silver hammer coin. Um, yeah, definitely. Awesome. It's number four for the day. It's a long cross, long cross penny. It's not in good condition, so I don't care about rubbing it. It's pretty gone. Still cool though. Wicked. Right, definitely going, chaps. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you again. Bye.